Welcome everyone, this is Kevin from CXC Tutor. I just want to introduce you guys to a new type of video that I'll be doing for this year. In addition to your past paper solutions and tutorial videos, I would like to introduce you guys to multiple choice solution videos. I'll be taking some common multiple choice problems and I'll be going through them step by step so you guys will have a clear understanding of how to solve these types of questions. In this question it says, the triangle below not drawn to scale is labeled as PQR in which the angle QPR is equal to 90 degrees, PR is equal to 12 centimeters and PQ is equal to 5 centimeters. The length of QR in centimeters is, and they give you the options as follows, A being 7 centimeters, B being 11 centimeters, C being 13 centimeters and D 17 centimeters. Now I can tell right away that this triangle is a right angle triangle because of the symbol at P. I'm given two sides and asked to solve for one unknown side. So the first thing that should come to mind would be to use good old Pythagoras' theorem to do that. And Pythagoras' theorem, if you can't remember, is C squared, which is your longest side, is equal to A squared plus B squared. Now for the context of this question, I'm going to use the notation QR to represent C. But just so you know, QR and C are the same thing. They both represent the longest side of this triangle. So let us begin. So QR squared is going to be equal to 5 squared plus 12 squared. Now 5 squared is 25 and 12 squared is 144. Therefore, QR itself will be equal to the square root of 25 plus 144, which is 169. The square root of 169 is 13. Therefore, the length of QR in centimeters is going to be 13. And the answer then for this multiple choice question will be C. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and comment below. Whether you're watching it on YouTube or on Facebook, your feedback is highly valuable as it helps to motivate me to make more of this content in the future. I intend to make these new kinds of videos short and sweet so you guys can enjoy watching them and feel free to share them on all of your favorite forms of social media. In the future, my plan is to compile all of the MCQ questions that I would have done and post them as a mock MCQ paper on my website or on my e-learning platform. That way, you guys will get a chance to practice your multiple choice questions and if you're stuck, you can always watch the videos to help clarify any misconceptions. Now, I will keep you guys posted more about that on Facebook but for right now, I just want to say thank you for watching and continue to have a great day.